Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna go ahead and be talking about the autopilot state of mind and how you can find out if you are actually on autopilot and how to get off of autopilot. So uh, what I mean is uh, thinking the same thoughts every day, feeling the same emotions, and uh, acting the same patterns out every single day. So you're basically on autopilot. You're reliving your day-to-day -day life and you're not expanding, you're not enjoying, you're not you're not having a full spectrum of life. You're just, you know, stuck in this little box of what you believe to be as life, but there's a lot, a lot more to life than just what you do every single day. Um, so a lot of people, what they tend to do is uh, they tend to program their mind, uh, you know, once they're in the theta state of consciousness, that's from the ages of zero to seven, you go ahead and program your mind and then you enter a beta state. Once you enter the beta state, you are no uh, longer being that child, you know, being told what to do and, uh, you know, programming your, your mind, but now you're just playing out the, that program that you have programmed in your head already. And most people, they feel either three or four on a day-to-day -day basis from a scale of one through 10, where I personally, I, I have to say that I live in like a seven or eight, even at a 10 at some times. I, I had planned this video out for tomorrow, but I feel so good and so in such a good flow state that I wanted to make this video right now. Um, and so a, a lot of people don't feel that. A lot of people go to their work and go do stuff and they're, it's a more of a drag. And like, it's like, a, uh, I have to do this. And it shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't do anything you don't want to do, okay? Um, so how to know if you're on autopilot? Do you feel the same emotions every single day? Do you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm going to work. I have to go to work. I don't want to go to work, okay? And and then do you do you think to yourself, uh, you know, the same thing every single day? You know, you get up and you're like, oh my God, I have to deal with my boss. Every time you see your boss, same thing. You you think the same thing to yourself. Oh my God, now I have to deal with my boss. Or every time you see the same girl, oh my God, I hate that girl. Oh my God, I hate that girl. Every single time you see her, are you thinking the same thing every single time something triggers you? Every time you see the color red, oh, I love the color red. Oh, I love the color red, okay? Or every time that you see a baseball and you're like, it takes you back to the story of like middle school when you got hit in the head with the baseball. And every time you see a baseball, you tell people that story. And you tell the same people that story. You tell that person's like, oh, you've told me this before. And you don't even realize it. Um, what about same actions? Like every time that you uh, wake up, first thing you do is go to your phone. Every single day, you just look at your phone, get on your phone. And as soon as you get free time, you get on your phone. Are you on autopilot? Are you on autopilot? Tell me. Because if you are, I'm, I'm gonna tell you that it's okay. That is what our society wants us to be in. Our society, it, schools, they, they, they are made to not make you question things, but to enter a state of repetition where you're used to just doing the same old things over and over again and not question them, not have your own beliefs, not have your own, you know, um, things that you want to experience. Uh, so if you're on autopilot, I'm gonna tell you how to get out of autopilot. So as you go out through your day, I want you to observe your thoughts, right? You're gonna, you know, let's say, for example, color red. You see the color red and you're like, oh my God, I love the color red. Well, why? Ask yourself, why do I like the color red? Because you subconsciously have a story programmed in your mind of why you have the color red. Whether uh, it, sorry, why you like the color red. Whether it's because when you were a kid, you saw the color red or like, and you told yourself red's your favorite color or you love Santa Claus and so red's your favorite color. There's a story behind it. There's a story behind it. You have to be aware of those stories. So all you have to do is observe your thoughts. Once you, you know, observe them, just let them go. Just, it's just a thought. You, you just thought about something, right? And that's it, just let it go. Don't give it any positive meaning. 
Don't give it a negative meaning. Don't be like, I love the color red or I hate the color red. No, don't give it any meaning at all. Because when you give things meaning, you re you give away your power. You give away your power. Um, so, like I said, observe your thoughts. If you go to work every day and you see some person and that person triggers you and it makes you upset, ask yourself, why? Why am I upset? Even though this person hasn't done anything to me today, in the present moment, I see them and it upsets me. Oh, I know why, because that guy talks to this girl I really like and therefore that takes time for me talking to that girl. Okay, whatever it might be, there's a story behind it. Be aware of the stories you tell yourself. So this, at this point, what you're doing is you're removing the programming that you have on, uh, in, your, in your mind. So everything that you've programmed into your head, you're, unpro you're disinstalling. Okay, you're disinstalling the program that you have programmed into your mind. So you just go about this, about your day and do this. Just observe your thoughts, observe why you're thinking things, why you're feeling things, why you're acting a certain way. If something triggers you, why did that trigger you? If uh, something made you feel sad, why did that make you feel sad? Just question it. It's, um, something that really helped me out that I got from Aaron Dotty. He said uh, to always just ask yourself, what do I believe to be true in order for this to be true? So what, what do you believe? What beliefs do you have that make you feel that way, that make you think that way, that make you act that way? Um, and then as you do this and you, you start, uh, uh, what do you call it? You start um, uninstalling that software that you have installed into your, into your uh, mind, you, you start to raise your vibration. Because in order to raise your vibration, you don't have to become this enlightened guru and like you know be enlightened no 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 it's it's simply letting go of all your beliefs and you rise right so there's a scale of consciousness i'll put it right here right where are you living are you in fear shame guilt as you, as you go out throughout your day and you start letting go of those things that bring you anger or fear or let's say you're scared of something why are you scared of it what traumatized you from what what experience did you go through that traumatized you right and as you let that go and you no longer give it meaning you no longer give away your power your vibration will start to rise and as it rises things will change um the grid you know spreads off like this uh kind of like a cone type of thing for a reason because you'll start experiencing more of life you'll start having crazy possibilities you start experiencing glitches in life. You will begin to expand your consciousness as you start letting go of beliefs that no longer serve you. So you don't have to let go of every belief. Just let go of the beliefs that bring you down. Um, but technically all beliefs bring you down because you know you always believe something for a reason. Because you believe it to protect yourself or you believe it because you believe it to be true. But the truth doesn't need to be believed in the truth is the truth regardless and guys as you guys begin to expand your consciousness your life will change i guarantee it you know just observe your thoughts pay attention to the way that you feel the way that you act the things that you think about and then just after ask yourself why am i thinking about this why am i feeling this uh, why am i acting like this what do I believe to be true in order for this to be true? Because it's true because it's coming out to flow. It's coming out. It's rising up. You're, you're dealing with it in the present moment. So why are you dealing with it in the present moment? And as you guys do that, your life will begin to change. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great day. I'll be uploading more videos soon. Namaste. When I say autopilot, I'm talking about thinking the same thoughts every day, feeling the same emotions every day. And uh, thinking the same thoughts every day, feeling the same emotions every day, and uh, acting the same. See, like, I've never experienced this before. This is the first time Matthew ever does like this. He's playing with my nephew. <laughs>